is that tiredness and injuries come catching up with you there? Is it? Yeah, of course. Uh, definitely of course. Uh, the last two weeks, the lack of uh, days uh, to recover, um, of course, that's, yeah, obviously, yeah, there's some strain this, this season for a team to play two, two days before Huddersfield, play Huddersfield and, and tonight again. I think we could play easily Friday, but I will, uh, will not, not comment it. Esther, go on. I was going to ask a question. Was that a fresh injury for, for Esther tonight? Yeah, yeah. Knock on his hips and couldn't move, <laughs> couldn't move properly, so I decided to put him on the side because of that. As long as uh, the game goes on, it has been, uh, I've seen, and, uh, and I couldn't have anything to with this pace uh, to the team, so that's why, that's why he went out. Was there a temptation to take him off at half time? Yeah. Was it his call to, to give it five, give it five minutes at the start of the second half? So was it what was it Morgan's call to, to give it time at the start of the second he half? Said, and see yeah, how it he went? said it would be right, but you know, it was um, at half time because he didn't move and, and all this stuff, and it, it was harder and harder for him to to move to move. So yeah, could make that decision earlier, but um, wanted to see if he can could uh, get on with the with the injury like uh, like last week against the other food. At the end, he said the four is going to be anything really good. So, yeah. And that try early in the second half seemed to be the, both the controversial one and an important one. Really, that it took it to 1860. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of controversial points uh, tonight. Again, he made the own judgment about the 420, about the, the knock-on, about the trying to touch, he made your own judgment, but I will not spend time and energy on what I, what I cannot control. And, uh, and uh, so I'd rather focus on the performance, but what what I see tonight, some strange decision against us. Yeah. Are you proud of what the boys have achieved this season to get so far? Yeah, very disappointed tonight with the loss because we are competitor but very very proud of the of the boys and of the, the team and of the club and what we managed to do the last three weeks in all the aspects on the field of the field uh, that's uh, very good for the future of the club and <coughs> I'm sure we learned um, we learned a lot uh, the last few weeks do you know what the situation is with Todd Carney now they made a decision not yet not yet, but I'm, I'm pretty confident, and the club is pretty confident that uh, he'll be able to to wear Dragon jersey next season, as well as Rainy Casti and uh, Guido Tonga. So, if you add these three guys to the group tonight, the future looks bright for the Dragons. And you say goodbye to David. Oh, sorry. You say goodbye to David White now. Yeah, yeah. We just said <laughs> that's David. It's Goodbye to Sam Williams and, and David Wade. And what David done is amazing. Come back and as, as an assistant coach the last two years and work hard for us to improve the, the, the team, improve the club. He was there in 2006 and, and, and you can see you can see now in 2014 where we are. And, and he just told me before I left the dressing room and I said it's only the start of something special in the future because we are pretty close. So, yeah, great, great thank you to, uh, to Mr. White. Have you decided that Todd Carney will be your captain next year? No. Uh, no. That's our court. No, not at all. Of. No, no, not at all. No, no, Todd uh, will not be uh, our captain. Uh, he. Uh, He's a fabulous player, and, and, and I know he's excited to, to join us, and I'm really excited to, to work with him. But uh, always been a French captain. Apart from Greg Ward. Apart from, Greg apart from Greg Ward, that's right. But um, I will not, not change. The Dragon Catalan are French, and it will be either a share, you know, 
an Australian and a, and a French, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.